Welcome back to Vision on TV, and we've got another show with Michael Albert talking about Z Social. So, first, ZNet. What's ZNet? Uh, ZNet is a web system. Uh, Z Communications, we call the overarching everything. So, Z Communications includes Z Magazine, uh, Z Video Productions, uh, Summer School that we do, Z Media Institute, and ZNet is our web system. Uh, so it's just it's a web system like uh, others, except that it has a tremendous volume of um, vision, strategy, analysis bearing upon uh, social change. Because you know, people in Europe aren't so familiar with it. Could you just give us a really brief history of where it came from and a little bit of its where, how it got to where sure. it is now? Sure. Uh, it really came from way back. So in other words, before the web, um, I realized the need for this kind of stuff and we were creating we did something called the uh, LBBS left um, BBS system a bulletin board system so it was prior to the web it was like AOL or something like that for readers of uh, listeners who know um, and then it just morphed a, a few times into finally uh, ZNet as the, largely as the technology and the capacities changed so browsing as compared to you know providing people with a little program that they could use to, to hook up and uh, you know all along the uh, the impetus was basically twofold one was okay provide the kind of content that we believe in providing um, over this new media channel uh, the internet that was one impetus for the whole thing and the second impetus for the whole thing was different which was um, through this channel maybe we can j develop more community that was also the transition from South End Press which I worked at then to Z Magazine maybe a magazine monthly can generate more of a sense of community and then the idea was maybe the website could do that um, and that's morphing us toward Z Social. Mm -hmm. So Z Social is a new social network, and you're setting up setting it up in reaction to corporate social networks. Could you say yeah. a little bit about that? Very much so. That is to say, I think that um, the way leftists use Facebook and get benefits from it um, is desirable. You know, we leftists try and get the best they can out of it, um, but we shouldn't forget that it is a major gigantic corporation whose agenda has absolutely nothing to do nothing to do with left agendas with with humane agendas they're about profit and power and control um, and that's the agenda and as a result that's why Assange said basically that the largest spying organization in the world right now is Facebook correct um, so that's one problem with it that it is accumulating a vast amount of information about people which it uses two ways mostly to sell people to advertisers uh, for incredibly intrusive advertising. Um, this is not helpful. Uh, this is not a good direction for society. So that's one problem. The second problem is um, that it also gives the information to governments, to states, to police apparatuses. That obviously is very harmful also. So while we're trying to get benefits from using this tool, uh, which is a good thing, trying to get benefits from it, it's using our use of it um, for, for bad ends. And there's another much more subtle effect, I think. Um, it debases human relations and it reduces people's attention span. Twitter does this also, maybe even worse. Um, there's a bias built into the structure and the surrounding ethos and the profit seeking, which yields a tendency to, um, uh, towards shortness toward nugget, it nuggetizes, as if what I say, communication. And it says that a, a friend is somebody who you know, clicks on a link or something. Both those things, I think, are also really harmful. It's not a small issue. Facebook right now, the volume of activity on Facebook is the same as the volume of activity on the entire internet in the year 2004. So Facebook is already as big as the internet was in 2004. The reality of what's happening here is that Facebook wants to replace the internet. That's the real agenda. Facebook wants everybody's online activity to be within this institution called Facebook, just like AOL, America Online, once wanted everybody's activity to be within AOL. And the breakaway from AOL to the web was a breakaway to broader communications, to freer communications, to more creativity, et cetera. And incredibly, we're going full cycle. And we're going back to an overseen um, um, tracking, um, uh, commercialized uh, narrowing of the internet via Facebook. And it's incredible to me that some leftists celebrate this. So let me just uh, finish briefly. Um, so what do you do? 
Um, well, a lot of people try and use it as best they can. That's like using the bank as best you can. It's not a good institution, but you use it as best you can. Okay, that's fine. Um, and I think that even when, even after Z Social, it's going to make sense to use Facebook, say, for finding your old friends and for being in touch with apolitical people and so on and so forth. But for our political activity, for our political socializing, for our political debating, for our de political exploring and, and even playing, we should have our own institutions um, which don't sell us as a commercial venture, don't spy on us, don't deny our privacy, and don't nuggetize us keeping things small, we should create something new in that CISO. So there's, there's lots of existing open source, pro there's a whole open source yeah. culture which builds this sort of thing. You know, uh, Dysphoria is a very large um, open source Facebook equivalent, um, Identica. Um, so why do we need another one? Well, why not I just build on these existing projects? I think that, that the issue here is, well, one possibly is egomania, right? Or something like that. Or the desire, but I think that open source is not political per se, and doesn't want to be political per se, and 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 uh, which is fine, you know, there's nothing that's okay. Um, but I think we need a political home. We need a place that is protected and that is servicing. But is the technology political? Yeah, because I think Identica would say they the they've community got that emerges. That they're, they're, oh, right. Okay, but why not use existing source code bases? If why, you why can do it, one? if you can do it. By all means, go ahead. Right. right. I mean, I have nothing great, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. It hasn't happened, mm -hmm. I don't think, and I doubt it will happen. I'm not sure we can pull this off. There's two reasons why we might not be able to pull this. First of all, we might just technically fail. Okay, so that's one reason. I don't. I think we'll technically succeed. So in other words, I think Z Social, when it becomes available, or after it, we work out some wrinkle, but basically when it becomes available, will incredibly, despite the fact that they have billions of dollars in you know, thousands of programmers, and we have uh, three programmers and no money, and they have to do other things too, and on and on. It'll be as congenial to use and as powerful. Um, so it will, provi it, will, it, will it will provide the tools. It will actually do many things that Facebook doesn't, which will allow larger communications and debates. So how, but do how do you feel it will be different to the existing structures? Yeah, what's, what's Because once again, there won't be any of this commercial stuff. There won't be any of the spying stuff. There won't be any violations of privacy. And it won't nuggetize. It will allow quick communications. That's fine. But it will also allow and even facilitate and promote longer and more sustained communications that are exploring an idea rather than just reporting that you know you happen to be eating an apple um, or whatever it is that you're reporting. Um, there are other features. I don't think you want a list of all the features, but that's the emotion. That's the that's the motive to 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 and and so the question is, can we create a community? Can we can we reach ten thousand, forty thousand, a hundred thousand, or even a quarter of a million? self-identified leftists, people who are concerned about making the world a better place because they recognize the ills of racism and sexism and authoritarianism and capitalism. Can we create a, a, an online mechanism that's a tool for those people in which they feel comfortable because it is their space? They still use Facebook because there's 800 million people, maybe they can reach some more people, et cetera, et cetera. But when they want the privacy of their own room, it's like a room of their own. But I'm it's in not the, their I'm own in the UK. It's, it's like it's Virginia Woolf. It's, it's not their own room. It's actually, you know, their own room would, some, would be something like Dysphoria, where actually you do own your own data and you have control of your own data. With this, actually, it's, it's, a, it's, another, it's another silo. It's another place where your data can live, uh, owned and controlled by somebody else, and you can only do what this no. other person says you can do with it. Well, so can, can people export see, their data see, out, see, of, out of out I of said social? I think that there's a bit of an exaggeration in all that, right? So if you build a set of technologies in which a techno wizard can do certain things, um, and then you claim that that's what everybody is doing, you're exaggerating. And I don't think it's the case. So I think what is the case is that the real issue is if you if if you are accumulating say messages and blog posts and um, is there an export know, et cetera, button? Et cetera, et cetera. I'm In not an sure which format. Export what? Of the, your interactions, your friend relationships, your social graph, they call it in the technological world. Can you export your social graph export. and import it into a different social network? No. Can you leave? No. Yeah, you can leave. But, but can but you take your data with you, or does the data stay behind? It, do it doesn't stay behind, that's for sure. Mm. Unlike Facebook, where it, there's a permanent record. And, and, and even when you're not, now it's the case that even when you're not using Facebook, it's looking yes. at what you're doing. It's incredible. Um, no, there's none of that, um, of course. 
but do we have a, uh, a, 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 a mechanism which is, which, you know, so for the next six weeks I participate in it and I write some comments and I write this, that, and the other thing, and there are articles and so on. So there's this massive amount of, if you don't count just the comment, but you count the article I commented on, I'm not exactly sure what you mean by export, but if to export all of that would mean exporting a many megabyte file. Well, on Facebook in Europe, actually, yeah. they have a lo European privacy law. Actually, you can send, you can, you can click to various levels of obscurity in Facebook, and you can say, "Send me all my data," and they send you a DVD with all the data from Facebook, all the hidden data, and you receive it. So you can export your data from from Facebook. No. Can you export your no. data from Zsocial? No, and and my guess is. I use computers mm -hmm. all the time. It would have never occur to me to do that. Well, yeah, I think it's not solving the real problem. The real problem well, is that Facebook keeps the data well, for and example, gives it to the government. Can I give you a few examples? Yeah. Say, 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 say you're on Z Social and this other fantastic social network turns up mm -hmm. and you want to be on that as well and you want to share the data between the two. Is there any, any way of doing that? Because that's the future of the Yes, of, of you, can, you can, yes. Th in other words, you can, po you can post it onto Facebook for that matter. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to post stuff elsewhere. So you'll be able to put stuff in, in Z Social and simultaneously put it other places. Yes, but that's a little different than than sort of receiving a DVD with, with a gig, you know, gigabyte of data on it. No, we, we're in no position to do that. But y yes, you can post out The European privacy law, you probably have to do it if you launched no, in Europe. No. <laughs> I'd be surprised. But in any case, um, uh, um, it's interesting, and I've never heard anybody ask me anything like this. Um, I've never even heard anything like this. Um, but I, d I do think that the real problems, as compared to the um, Interesting technical question. Well, it's not a technical question. It's who owns your social interaction. It's what and actually, the way that we're setting up, you're setting up, we're, we're setting up ZSocial is that actually ZSocial owns your social interactions. And it should be the individual user owns them. And it's not. And this is problematic because this is actually the same as what Facebook does. It's, it's the same yeah, as what Twitter does. If you does. think it's the same, it then, is. You, then you shouldn't Technically use it. Technically, it's the same. Then you shouldn't use it. I, well, if for, I, example, I think for example, Dys Dysphoria actually doesn't do that. Actually, you, know, y you, you own all your data. It actually sits on your machine. And it, it's, it's, it's technically complex, but it works by a peer-to-peer yeah. -peer network. So the data actually resides it's on your machine. It's just a different thing. It's not because you own the data. You control the data. Listen, listen, slow down. It is a different thing. Right. OK. So it's not not. It is a different thing. Thing, okay, so it depends on what your priorities are. If your priorities are that everything I do should reside on my machine, use that system. By all means, listen, well, let me finish. If your priority is I don't want to be spied on, I don't want to be sold to other agencies, uh, you know, other corporations, I don't want to um, um, add to the profits of a profit making business and so on, I want to build a left institution, I want to be in a, in a place where these left values are espoused and they're comfortable, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I want to be able to, you know, put my blog in more than one place and put my comment in more than one place, but I can't get a DVD back of everything that I ever did, then use this system. Or I can understand somebody feeling either way. For myself, right, just myself, um, I can't imagine, right? Um, I suppose I, I'll, I'll make this pledge. If we did this, if it works, and there's lots of people using it, and there's, therefore there's m funds and there's the possibility of, of, of innovations and so on, um, there's the danger, what happens if we go under, mm -hmm. right? So well that's, a real, that's where I think it's a real issue. Yes. That, uh, that's the only place I really think it's a real issue, but there I think it's a real issue. Mm -hmm. And so if we have that kind of scale and that kind of capability, then yes, I would, I would, I would see us including a capacity before we went under, before we decided that we were no longer, you know, et cetera, to create a file for each user of all their stuff. And it wouldn't be particularly difficult. M we could do that. But to promise people that we're going to send them DVDs, when no ma you know, materially that just yes, has nothing to do with possible. reality. Yes. Okay. But, but that element of what you're saying, I agree with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. And, and we can do that. That okay. element can be done. Uh, so, the, so I was saying, wh why might we fail? So there's two reasons why, and we might fail because we just technically bollocks it. W we could also fail um, for a different reason, I which and we could okay. fail because nobody cares. Well, we could. There's also there's there's, there's kind of a there's a there's a there's a kind of um 
the, 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 the geek culture is moving on, and I see this as being outside of geek shock culture. I see this as being in, in left culture. Yeah, I couldn't care culture. less about. Well, geek culture is very valuable because that's that's the that's, that's, that's the incubation of the future. Fine, but, well, but you know why not? Why not sort of you know? See, why, why is the separation still well, happening? I, I don't think so. it, look. The separation is happening because the geek culture mm -hmm. right is anti-left, not the left culture being anti-geek. Mm -hmm. Let's be clear about that. So when I contact. Um, um, the various people in the open source movement and want to talk to them, they don't want to talk to me. So that's, that's, that's I would just argue that's probably because they see you as being. Not about Z social. Right. About politics, right. about okay. issues, about the relevance mm -hmm. of open source mm -hmm. to capitalism and to private property and to private ownership. And they don't want to talk about any of that. So th that's where the antipathy is. Not on our side, but let me just, the, 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 the question of whether it would succeed or I not. I think they would just use a different language. I think it's the problem of the I, language I, that I, people I, use. I, they I, do talk about these things all the time, but I, they use a different I way of think expressing it. Honestly, with all due respect, I think you're wrong. Right. That we is just had a meeting downstairs and a couple of people said it, this. It, well, but there's different, le there's different people in, the, mm -hmm. in that community. And of course, there's some of them who are absolutely political and absolutely concerned about, but there are a great many of them who are concerned about a particular thing, open source software software being your own, your information being your own, but that's where it stops, and that's a problem. Okay, so, in any and it's not that it's a bad thing, it's just that it should stop there. Um, anyway, it could fail again for another reason, which again, is that the community of people, and the universe of people, doesn't want to do it. So, either they don't want to switch from Facebook, right? The number of, if you, if the, the people who are gonna join this, if, if it's going to work and it's going to get to 10,000, 40,000, or 100,000 people, they're not switching from a open source system. They're switching from Facebook, all right? Or they're doing both. But a lot of people will say, I don't want to do both, I just do Facebook. So that's one possible failure. A second possible failure is somebody saying, this is a little bit like what you're saying. Somebody saying, well, wait a second. Why do I want Z to be doing this? Why do I want a particular left institution to be doing this? This is the same person who has a multinational corporation doing it, meanwhile. Um, so yes, that's the a horrible contradiction a, there's we a, live with. There's a bit con of a con yeah, but that's okay. I'll yeah. settle for that, but I won't do this. That could happen. Um, we'll see whether there are enough people who will relate. Z Social is, a, is an institution you know, it's not Z Magazine, it's not Z Net, it's Z Social. And mm -hmm. I, if I gave you all of the features, you would mm -hmm. see that it is embedded in the whole left, not in our left. Mm -hmm. So it will have access to, you know, content from the whole left. It will have, in a sense, there's a very um, uh, easy to use uh, RSS reader in it, but it doesn't call it an RSS reader, it's, you know, information. <laughs> and you'll be able to get whatever you want. Um, not even just left stuff, you can get Sports Illustrated, but whatever you might want through the system. Um, so, we'll see. So, just to, I think we're going to have to wrap up soon. Yeah. Final question. I did a study a while back on um, linking, because the currency of the web is the link. I see. And um, I found that m in the UK, many, many successful right-wing blogs prominently link to each other on the front page above the fold. I see. Prominently. Yeah. Yeah. And then I looked at the left-wing blogs, and actually they, they didn't they link to each other at all. Yeah, well if we they do. linked at all, it was down the bottom, off, off, you know, off the bottom of the page somewhere, right. or not on the front page, right. on a separate page. So as the currency of the web is the link, this is problematic. I actually looked at, I looked at Democracy Now! and Znet, and neither of them linked to a single other project that's on their just, front page. That's just well, this was three months ago. They're not a single other, the other, the other, other project on, on their front page. It was on all the front every page, link was to Znet. On the front page, that's not what it does. It but links it, but into internal you look stuff. If, if you, you look a little down, bit, it's in there. Yes. It's, you don't have to dig far. You go to alt media, you see all the alt media mm -hmm. links. You go to gender and to the question, you know, the part on that's the front dealing page, with that. There's not a the single link to another the alternative media source there's a on lot Znet. It's just a and same Democracy Now, not a single link. It's this is problematic. No, but if you dig down in Democracy Now, you still won't find them. Right. But if you dig down in yes. Z, except you only have to dig down one mm -hmm. step, you'll see them all over the Why place. Why not link on the front page? Because it takes up a lot of space and because... But do you not respect the diversity of strategies and the diversity of options? Listen, <laughs> you, you, you are have a different task. If I have a blog system, the In other words, if the let me the finish, is the link. If I have, if I have a blog, well, we could talk about that if you want. Mm -hmm. But if I have a blog system, okay, and it's just me, Michael Albert, so it's a column of Michael Albert, okay, that's not that much. It's just stuff, I, uh, and now I link to other blogs. Z is not a blog system, right? Neither is Democracy Now. Democracy Now is closer, but it's not. Um, but it's closer. But but Z is is. Qu 
quite different than a blog system, okay? And if you're going to lose these superficially, if you are wedded to the superficial idea that everything has to be instantly, you know, in front of my nose, then it's a problem. But if you care about something and you care about alternative media, you don't get two alternative media links, you get all of them. And you get tons of alternative media leaks, tons of economics leaks, tons of race leaks, tons of, you can't put all that on the top page. So if we just pick out one or two for the top page, now we're that's singling right. those there out. Are none. Listen. Last time I looked, there was none. And that's why. Because t if we singled out a few on the top page, now we are giving them special visibility and special it's connectivity. We don't want to do that. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? prominently linked to other radical media projects on the front we do if, every, if every, if every listen, radical project did that, it listen, would make a lot of difference. No, it wouldn't. If everyone no. did it the way no, you're... Because left-wing people don't do it at all. If you look at their sites, it's almost never done. Listen, right you, you make do. a lot of um, e e extreme formulations, and they're just false, okay? Right. I just finished telling you yeah. that Znet links all over the okay. place, okay? I'll check all out the over the again. place. And in, in the articles linked to the source. One second. And other Can things do that, too. Can we just check the front page of the website and see if there's links? You may well do. I'd just like to find out I just described that it isn't no. on the front page of the website. Okay, okay, you sorry. know, you, you listen, okay? That's not because if we put it on the front page of the website, now Z is endorsing the three things that we link to. Can't do that. Why not? Because I don't want to endorse just three. Well, just change it every day. Well, you go change it every day. In other words, it, there's a lot of things to do. So we put all of them. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is go to the thing you're interested in and you see them all. So why is that? Uh, now, that's a different way of doing it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the way you're proposing, but that's a perfectly reasonable way also, okay? The fact of the matter is, is that on Z, we'll frequently put an article, not just a link, but we'll put an article about another operation and urging people to help it, okay? That's the kind of solidarity that's real. These links, these long lists of links that everybody has, that's pretty cheap solidarity, okay? So I think real solidarity is more important. And, and that's and that's what we try and do, um, uh, uh, but I agree with you about the need for it. Uh, there is one interesting s negative to this, mm -hmm. um, uh, and it's really it is important. And people have done a lot of tests of this. Now I work on the internet all day long, and I do a website, and I have and there's lots of links and so on and so forth. So I'm doing this, and I might be part of, of the problem. The, the, it goes more or less like this: if you test people by having them use the internet for a week, say, and not use the internet for a week. And this is going to sound unbelievable to you, but it's been done numerous times now. The people who are using the internet pro prominently, lots of the time, they're using, in other words, the web, you know, browsing. And they're browsing pages that have lots of links on them. And they're clicking on links. And the other people are just doing normal media. Or if they use the web at all, they're just using simple pages that don't have lots of links. What they discover is that the presence of all these links and of jumping between them and stuff destroys attention span. I, it's mind-boggling, the, 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 the results of these studies. But I think there's, sadly, I think there's a lot to it. This is part of the reason for Z-Social also. I think there's a lot to it, especially when I look at teenagers and young people and the way they interact. And you watch the teenager who's sitting in, who's a football fan, who's sitting in front of the screen and there's a game on, and they have their, their the game on the screen, their laptop, mm -hmm. their tablet, their phone, and they can pay no they, they can't pay attention to any one thing for more than, you know, a minute and a half. And it's scary to watch. And it happens somehow. And sadly the sadly for me cuz I do the internet, right? Sadly the studies are, are suggesting that the way it happened is this gigantic fragmentary constant Constant presence of links. Now I know you can say, well, it doesn't ring true. It doesn't. It couldn't. I would but, not, but the studies are showing it. You, it's you scary. At, if you look at television, the, the length of the edits is shrinking exponentially until there's almost you know, the, the, the so basically it's, it's, it's a corporate media thing to keep attention in things which are pretty dull. So I wouldn't say it's linking on the internet. This is kind of a, a just a, a mainstream traditional media thing trying to keep people's attention in a world where actually. You know, nobody's yeah, interested in what they're producing. So I think internet and plain, plain linking, I don't think it's the problem. I think it's actually a larger problem of the world of advertising, the world of All that television. is true. All that is, pl is, is a problem. But sadly, I mean, I wish it wasn't the case. This is what these studies are showing. Mm -hmm. So you can say what you think, and I can say what I think, you know. But the studies are showing that, and they really are definitively showing that. It's very disturbing. I mean, look it up. You'll see. Okay. Um, uh, 
in any case, what does it say to you? Well, it says, how can you, how can you use, if you want to do it totally responsibly, and I don't know what the answer, I don't know how to do this. So, so in other words, Z-Social is an attempt to do social networking in a left and responsible way. How do you do a website in a responsible way? If it's the case that having lots of links, and we have lots of links, lots of different things you can do, on almost, uh, Z is it's, it's a huge site. There's like, I don't know, 15, 20,000 pages of content and divisions and sections and everything else. How do you have something that has lots of content and lots of choice and yet doesn't constantly put in front of people a million things to choose between which they flit between, causing, causing this diminution of attention span? Uh, I don't know what the answer to that is, right? I know one answer to it is not to create something like Twitter, which says you have to communicate in what's the number of well, words? Twitter, it's, it's, it's not the individual items, it's actually the flow. You know, and Twitter it's, it's, is it's, a, it's, it's a river. I, Twitter I is a river. I think Twitter is repulsive. Well, it's a, yeah, I, think, I think a lot of people misunderstand Twitter. They read the tweets, and you don't read the tweets, you read the flow. Yeah. You get to know the characters yeah, well through the flow of conversation, you look not at through the individual tweets. If you look at the tweets, they're, they're 98% absurd. And, it and who you so, <laughs> so, you know, there's a tendency to. Look, here's the trajectory. But it's letters, it's different old between, letters. It's the difference between flows. I think, I think we have a misunderstanding here. Flows actually contain valuable information. Digital yeah. flows contain, which aren't in, it's not in traditional book, doesn't have a flow in it. Fine. You but, know, but these flows of information, so all these links, all this jumping about actually does have valuable information yeah. in it. It's just consumed you, in a different way. You watch way. the teenager use Twitter and you tell me that it's a valuable I would information. I would, but I, would in say, any case, I would say their attention span is probably destroyed by many other things rather than Twitter. Well, maybe. But, but here's, the tra here's the trajectory. That, that you can just see. People used to write letters. Listen for a second. People used to write letters. Okay? Mm -hmm. yes. Many, many multi-page letters. And it would take, and it would take a long time, yes. to take a while to write them, and then to transport them would take a while, and then eventually you get back and then you respond. Okay. Eventually we get email. Mm -hmm. And email is still, it's shorter, but it's still somewhat long. All right? and, and it still takes a little while to get and to come back and so on. Then you get this Twitter thing. And, and Facebook, instant reaction, a counting of your number of people who relate to you, a real incentive to do it more and more, shorter and shorter, to build up, right? And, and you get this trajectory. And that trajectory, I think, is very real. And I do think it's very damaging. Why is it damaging? Because it, it's not that short is bad, right? But if we're talking about politics, if we're talking about the question of what, what should happen in society, if, if you're confined to short, it means you have to take for granted everything and just tweak it a little. If you want to make a case about a real change, that takes time. The, the tweets aren't short. Tweets are a flow. And flows contain long information if you watch them. If you, if you believe that, yes. you just keep right on tweeting. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I, do, I, do, I well, don't we, think that in the large uh, scale that is what's happening. Well, I think the newer generation of people are, are starting to understand that flows are more important than, you know, in the olden days, knowledge was a book, paper, yeah. it didn't change. I think now knowledge is dynamic and flows around, and people are learning how to, we're not learning, we're too old, you but young people are learning yeah, I, how I, to You know, I, I like your optimism, but I don't think it is in the real world. Um, it, 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 when the internet started, right, when web pages started, um, the the norm was that the uh, the the, aver the, the, um, um, the artists and the designers said, look, here's the thing, people can't handle a longer page, so we have to design our site so that it fits on the screen, and and then you click for another page, and they thought that they were they were delivering something in order to make things accessible, in order to make people read them, in order to make content, etc. Wait, let me just finish. The real reason for that was in fact dictated by the advertising departments so that you would click to a new page you would see a new ad mm -hmm. and you would see new ads but the per but but everybody thought i mean i would speak to constant programmers and artists and they all thought that they were doing something that was enhancing understanding really what was going on is they were doing something that was there for advertising purposes mm -hmm. okay now i think that when the dust settles right sadly i wish i was wrong but when the dust settles, it's going to turn out that the innovations that are associated with Twitter and with Facebook, in the same way that the web is fine, and the web can be a good thing, but that was an, that was an imposition on the web, right, which made it less good than it could be, the, the things about Twitter and Facebook, the commercialization, the spying, and the nuggetizing of content, 
those are also impositions. And they are making it less good than it could be, which is why we're trying to do it in a different way that will be better. I think when Twitter succeeded, everyone was utterly shocked. And then when Twitter became the main way of getting news, I get all my news off Twitter. I don't yeah, get well it then, anywhere then else. You're then, then, <laughs> then, then, Twitter, then Twitter actually, people, people discovered that actually this thing was a very different thing to what they thought it was. Yeah. Well, it, maybe I'm wrong. But I would say that if you get all your news from Twitter, yes. um, you're not getting very good news. Well, uh, I follow good people, and they, they, they put out good information. So I actually get very good news. Mm -hmm. I, I, know, I know what's happening in the world two or three days before it actually happens. Yeah. You know, well, that's, that's it's the most, it's the most when I have you, this realization that it's stunning. You'll get nuggets of facts. And, and it's a flow that which is shaped you'll by my, my you'll experience. You'll get nuggets of facts, but you won't get analysis and vision and strategy, which takes more than a nugget. Right, you just won't. Uh, if you do, more power yes. to you. Yes. But I don't believe it. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. I think we probably have to wrap that up. Um, right. Thank you very much for that show. Really You're interesting welcome. show. Yeah. And um, we'll do some more technological shows on Vision on TV soon.